even in the period of the 1970s and the or 80s, when after we turned the net on in 83, it was very evident that this was powerful technology and that the more people had access to it, the more things they could accomplish and do. It was this fresh, uh, wonderful platform in which to invent. And if, I, if there's anything I am particularly proud of, it's that this architecture allowed other people to contribute their ideas and to keep building on it. So when Tim Berners-Lee lays down a new World Wide Web application, it creates yet another platform on which more people have been building, including companies like Google. So uh, it's this openness and this, uh, this acceptance of people's contributions, this ability to multiply the value of information that has made this such an exciting environment for me. So even though we know there's abuse that happens on the net, I don't think we've created a monster. First of all, you should recall that every time a new technology comes along, it is thought that it's going to destroy some other industry. So movies said that television was going to destroy the industry, and then cassette recorders were going to destroy the movie industry. And what did we discover? We discovered that there was more money coming from the sale of DVDs and Blu-ray and uh, formerly uh, cassettes than would come out of the box office. So if anything, it turned out to enhance the value of the production of these intellectual works. I would argue that the same thing can be said for a number of other parts of the intellectual property community. Right now, they aren't seeing that. They're seeing this uh, uh, potential hazard that that uh, somehow they believe is eroding their, uh, their markets. I would argue that these technologies are actually going to end up, certainly if history is any measure, they're going to end up being creating more value in the intellectual property community than they ever had before. They just don't see that right now.